This week we're out at EV Constructions Project, Keller Lake. They've done a great job with safety out here, so I wanted to really highlight some of their best practices that they're doing. Here, obviously, we have a masonry wall. Uh, we have a fork truck coming through. But notice how we have this danger sign here, the restricted zone from this uh, masonry wall. Uh, that's a, a requirement to establish a restricted zone around a masonry wall before the final lateral support is complete. One of the things with the masonry wall is we've got to have a restricted zone set up. And now they've done that with these signs. It, it has to be at least the height of the wall plus four feet away. Now, not only do they have to have a sign that's away from the wall, but they also have to have a sign that's actually on the wall itself. So anybody crossing this point has to have required training that really helps them to, to see what the hazards are and the dangers are with the masonry wall. Now, mainly out here, it's gonna be wind. or being struck by a piece of equipment. So without that final lateral support in, that wall could come down and collapse. Now in addition to being away from the wall, the height of the wall plus four feet, they've also put these danger restricted zone signs on the wall itself. So anybody that's in that restricted zone has been trained to identify the hazards associated with these masonry walls. If the winds pick up, we need to be aware that maybe we need to exit that restricted zone. So here we have a nice example. They've set up their danger restricted zone sign away from the masonry wall. Now, the standards really require it to be at least the height of the wall plus four feet away, which they've done that. But not only that, the standard also requires a danger sign to be located on the wall. So this has now marked out a, what's called a restricted zone. Anybody that enters this zone has to be trained. Now what are they looking for? Well, the danger is associated with masonry walls until it has its final lateral support This has a, a potential of coming down, especially in some strong winds. Now, if winds were get, to get over 20 miles an hour, anybody in that zone needs to be out of that zone. Only trained personnel can go beyond this restricted zone. Boy, so what a good walkthrough today. Everyone's doing such a good job, especially with masonry walls. So appreciate all of your hard work. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to it, and uh, let me know your feedback too, and as far as comments, maybe some suggestions for future videos. Appreciate all you're doing for safety out on site. We'll see you next time. So this was a lot of fun out here today. Everyone was very welcoming. Did a nice job with safety on site. A lot of good practices, good planning, good thinking ahead. Uh, being aware and observant of others, respectful, but also wearing PPE as well. A lot of high vis, safety glasses, hard hats, gloves, fall protection. Great job, everyone. Good to see you. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you next time. You want to get in on this? <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Never tell you the story of uh, how I got going on these videos. Uh -huh.